Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we are going to go on a sea expedition. Uh, so the plan is to build ourselves a sea base and then start taming sea creatures. Uh, Megalodons and a Basilosaur or three are what we're primarily going to go after. But I do have saddles for a couple other creatures like a Dunkleostis. I got a Plesiosaur saddle. I got a Manta saddle. Uh, all pretty good quality, you know, stuff that we got off of drops. Uh, so we're not going to deliberately go after those tames, but if they are tames of opportunity, then we may grab them too. Um, so I've got my critters assembled that are, are going to go with us. We got uh, uh, four uh, Baryonyx, we got a pig, and we got October Sky. And of course, we'll be taking Mojave with us as well. Uh, October Sky and Mojave are loaded up uh, with a bunch of stuff. So Mojave's got the saddles and some equipment that we're going to use and some behemoth gates that we're going to build the pen out of. And um, October Sky uh, just has a bunch of stone uh, building materials that we'll need to, you know, set various things up at the base. And let's see here. Um, the uh, These three Baryonyx here are all fully imprinted. Barista was a wild, but we're taking her too uh, just because she's been sitting up there with nothing to do. Uh, and I have made the decision to go pretty much across the board with Baryonyx um, for all the caves. And now we do have the sabers. We'll go ahead and keep the sabers down at the lower south cave because um, they're down there right now with the trough and in a shed. So whenever we run that cave, we'll use them. But for every other cave, I think we're just going to use the Baryonyx because they're just such good creatures. They can get into the caves um, and... They are, um, they're, they're just really, really good creatures. Um, a lot of people are saying that they're the best cave creature that you can use in Ascended here on the island. Um, and since I've already started the breeding program, and especially because we found that wild uh, berry with the exceptional stats and stamina and damage in particular, um, that's the wild father here. I already showed this to you in an episode or two ago, but basically if you haven't seen this yet. Um, this guy's got 51 in stamina and 51 in melee, which are just absolutely fantastic um, stats to have. Those are just the wild stats. So everything that I'm breeding now is uh, what I call base level. So all of these berries here, these female berries, have the same exact stats as the wild father. And so now what I'm doing is I'm breeding for, for mutations. Uh, to see if we can even improve that further. But even as they are, they're they're just exceptional creatures. Uh, so Baryonyx are going to be our go-to uh, critter for caving for the rest of this series. That is the plan anyways. We may still try and get um, uh, our Therizino into the northeast cave. It's a real pain in the ass, and I'll show that to you when we do that episode. Um, but otherwise, yeah, unfortunately, and I mentioned this too an episode or two back, the Thylacaleos are just useless for caving without... Um, cryopods because you can't get them through the entrance and it really pisses me off that wildcard did that but it is what it is I suppose a couple other things to get you updated on here um, oh my goodness <laughs> you know what I'm not, we don't need any more snails we've got snails all over the place they just breed like rabbits um, I, I, I built this upper area here I don't think this was in here in the last episode as you can see so I basically built this all the way around it's really kind of cool up here uh, we do have this baby that I put some uh, tasty cakes on it's already eaten them uh, but what I did was I built this little pin here for the snails but they get out I, I mean I leave and I come back and they're they've gotten out e even obviously with these closed up so I figured well what the hell I guess I'm just gonna let them wander all over the place because I don't know how to keep them contained uh, they were doing the same thing when I had them over on the here's a little baby that died uh, over on the other balcony um, I had them in a pin but they would slither their way out somehow i don't know so now i'm just kind of letting them run amok get it muck <laughs> i'm so funny anyway <laughs> and you know whatever they they are providing me with a metric butt ton of smitting paste uh and even a little organic polymer so they're super useful to have around for sure um all right so let's see what else we got a new um therizino mother and her stats are better than uh, the previous mother that I had there. So I'm gonna continue breeding them. Neither one of these Therizinos have have really good stats to begin with though. So I'm gonna keep looking. I mean, I'll start breeding them and I have started breeding them, but I'm, I'm still gonna look for more wild Therizinos to see if we can get something better because these are gonna be our boss army dinos. And 
you know, we need them to be good, right? Uh, we need high health and high damage. Those are the only two things that really matter for the Therizinos, uh, for bosses. We're not using them for harvesting. I've got other theories for that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to keep looking for, for wild ones. Anything, you know, like, I don't know, 130 or higher, I'll probably tame and just see if their stats are better than what I have. Um, and like I said, we'll, we'll start breeding these two. And uh, hopefully when it's all said and done, we, we can get some good stats going on those guys. Okay, I think that's it to update you. Uh, I do have, I've increased my um, uh, Argentavis uh, line here too. I'm not too serious about, you know, going balls out for breeding these guys though, because the ones we have are already very good. Uh, I mostly am just going to focus on breeding berries and uh, Therizinos um, for the most part. Okay, anyway, look at you guys. You just want to get in on the action, don't you? Okay, let's... Uh, go over here i uh, made up a whole crap ton of harpoon tranks and uh, they take a long time to craft i mean they're still crafting <laughs> I, I i queued up 200 of these things and all of these you know started with the spears and i got all of those from drops i have not made a single spear and we had so many of them and i said what the hell let's go ahead and turn those into trank spear bolts for underwater taming and i also made a couple of uh, primitive harpoon guns just because I don't have any blueprints to make anything better than that at this point Okay, so we're gonna let these um, Harpoon tranks. What are they? What are they called? Trank spear bolts. Okay, you're gonna let those finish up when those are done um, I'll bring you guys back and we will set out our first goal is to just get to the coast in one piece uh, And the plan for that is we're gonna just follow the central uh, river down to this point point. And then we'll cross over, um, we might, well, see if I go this way, I'm going to have to go through the swamp a little bit. And that puts me further south than I want to go. So what we'll do is we'll probably cross over in through here. Um, this is where, let's see, yeah, right about here, I believe, is where the, the sea cave is located. The west, the western sea cave with artifact of the, uh, hell, I can't remember what the artifact is in there. But anyway, it's right about in this spot right here. So we're going to build our sea base in this, you know, kind of little bay somewhere, you know, close to where that cave is. And then eventually I'm going to do the same thing over on the east coast too. So the eastern cave is right around in this area, as I recall. So maybe in this little cove here, we'll build a second sea base when the time comes. But, uh, we're, you know, we're going to focus on the Western Cave first and getting a uh, an, an aquatic army, you know, built up for that, too. Megalodons are supposed to be really good now in Ascended. Um, I still want a Basilosaur for myself to ride because of the eels and, and um, jellyfish. But the Megalodons, um, they, they're, they're really good. So we're just going to get a big pack of them and just go in and wreck everything. That is the plan anyways. Okay. Uh, are these damn things done? Let's take a look. They're still going, man. I even started those off with some focal chili, too, to speed it up, and it didn't seem to do much good. Okay, guys, um, I'll bring you back when we're ready to set out. All right, let's do this. I got everybody set to follow me um, on far distance. And they're all currently set to passive until we need to set them to something else. And uh, let's get going here. We're just going to pull them through the woods here until we can get them down to the river. Um, it is my intention, and I actually even mentioned this. Oh, you know what else I should do? Actually, hold on a sec. Let's, uh, let's track everybody that's coming with us, so that way we can keep track of them so all right we'll go flyers we want to track october sky okay and then carnivores i guess we'll narrow it down a little bit we have miss piggy with us right yeah miss piggy's with us we have uh, Barista and Soldier 1 and 2 and Barrymore. I just have to find him in the list here. Okay, there's Barista. Uh, Barrymore. 
Barris Barrymore. I really like this tracking system. It's just so useful. Glad they added it into the game. Okay, I, so, okay here's Soldier 2. Is there a way to, to sort this? Uh, don't. I mean, other than this, like sort alphabetically. There's water creatures. I guess they don't consider berries water creatures. All right. Well, um, oh, duh. <laughs> Could just do this. Uh, shoot. Should have thought about that in the first place. I was, I was looking for a sword option when I should have used a filter option, right? Wait, what? No, we don't want to do groups. Okay, so everybody's tracked. That way we can keep track of them as we go along. And, you know, we should probably also make sure that uh, Mojave is tracked too. Just in case we get dismounted or something and she flies off. Okay, let's do this. Anyway, what I was going to say is... You know, every time I go down to the river, which is frequently, because I have to go down to get fish and that sort of thing, um, I have to take this perilous path on either side. It's even worse on the other side because there's even more foliage. Uh, and that's where I was killed a couple days ago, too, in that area. So I am going to build a ramp down to the river directly from the base at some point here pretty soon so I don't you know, have to keep going this route. I might, though, uh, or or alternatively, or and in addition to, depending upon how it turns out, um, I was going to maybe just place some foundations all along through here to, to kind of create, create a clear path. Because that would work, too, um, because the foundations will prevent the, uh, you know, the foliage from growing back, and then I can at least see better what the hell's going on, right? Um, you know what? Let's take these guys back up here. They're probably going to get stuck. Get out of here, hyenas. Hyenodons are always worth killing, by the way, um, because they give an exceptional amount of XP for some reason. I don't know why. But So if you're ever out leveling your, your dinos and you come across hyenas, make sure you kill them. Okay, I think we've got the gang with us. Let's go down through here. Once we get out of the big redwoods, we don't have to worry about thylacaleos, but I have trained myself to just watch the trees. I have yet, knock on wood, to get snatched out of a tree in this series, but it's going to happen. I, I have no illusions that it won't, <laughs> but it hasn't happened yet. All right, let's have a normal carna going on down there. Once we get down to the river, it's a little safer by virtue of the fact that I can see, you know, what's going on. So we're going to probably have some piranhas messing with us. Um, is that Carno? That Carno was attacking. All right, I'm going to put everybody on neutral so they can deal with the piranhas for a second. Pig's already healing us, which is great. Okay, let's see if we can get everybody out of the entanglement there. Got some raptors coming in. I'm just waiting for Barrymore to get... Well, actually... Those guys should deal with that raptor. You guys come over this way. Get out of the, that brush there. Yeah, we're going to have to see if I can break this with the bird without going in the drink here. There we go. Now, can we get everybody together, please? Barista, get your ass over here. Uh, God damn it. There you go. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Jump on over that rock. Okay, looks like that cardinal wants to mess with us. Let's see if we can just get away from him because I don't particularly need to kill him. I just want to get moving here. Got a bear and another carnal going at it. Uh-oh. 
Did we just crash? Oh my god, that scared me. That would have been like a bad place to crash. I haven't had any crashes in a long time, by the way. If uh, you haven't heard me say this before, and if you are still having problems crashing, what fixed it for me was to turn off the... Here, I'll show you. Uh, this thingy here. Uh, video... Enable foliage and fluid interaction. As soon as I turned that off, the crashing pretty much stopped. Except on a very, very rare occasion. Whereas when I had this on, I was crashing sometimes literally every two or three minutes. It was that bad. Um, so, yeah. If you're still having problems crashing, turn that shit off and it should work better. Okay, we still have someone left behind. It's probably stuck. Yeah, okay. We have four, we have four berries and one pig and one bird to keep track of. Looks like we have them all with us now. Why are they running up to the shore? I couldn't say, but let's just go. Is that? Oh, man, that's one of those giant salmon. Um, Let's let's uh, attack that thing. Because you get so much meat from it. And it always goes way up into the sky, too, but you can still, you can still uh, harvest it. The, it's visually up in the sky, but it's still down where they can harvest it. So, one of many bugs they gotta get fixed. There we go. You can get a crap ton of meat off those. Uh, and you also, if you if you find a, a giant a coloconth, or however you pronounce that, you know, the normal fish, uh, you'll get a lot of meat off of those too. Okay, come on guys. Let's go. Everybody on passive. Let's go. Don't mess with anything unless you have to. I love that Piggy's doing her job there, keeping everybody nice and topped off on the health. She's not a very fast swimmer, though. But in her defense, she's not a water creature like the Baryonyxes are. All right, we got some enemies up here. What kind of levels are we talking about? 65 Rex, 15 Aloe, that's it. Okay, yeah, nothing to worry about. Might as well kill him. Guess they're going after the Allosaur too. Okay, everybody back on passive. It's going to be very interesting when it comes time for us to do our first boss fight to get our army to what's, what will probably go to the green obby. I think that's going to be the closest one to where we are. Um, One option for that. Well, actually, you know, now that I come to think of it, I'll bet you a Quetzal can pick up a, a, a Therizinu. So we, we should get ourselves a Quetz. Now we can also get a uh, Arena Natha too, the Dragonfly guys. And I would like to. And they, they would work as well. So it might be a situation where we, if we have those creatures, then we can just fly them. It'll take a while, but I'd rather fly one at a time than try and get the whole army across the map and have to deal with all this bullshit, you know? So, yeah, we'll see how that goes when the time comes. Okay, we have the whole gang. Let's land and get a little bit of stamina here. Eat some bugs. Kill the bugs. Let's take a look at the map here. So, let's see here. Maybe we should have actually gone up around that way. I think, you know what, though? I think we can get up through here and then maybe drop back down this way because this is where I want to get to. Um, Let's... Eh, we're going to go through some pretty thick woods if we do it that way, though. But I think we can probably manage. So, yeah, let's um put a, uh, a waypoint there. 
and move that direction and then we'll we'll see what happens here okay let's go let's go boys and girls one thing I want to do real quick is make sure piggy has food because she's possibly out of food yeah she is that's why she's not healing so we'll grab all the meat. I guess she can eat fish too. I don't know. She's a pig. She should be able to eat anything. Whoops. Also, whilst we're at it, let's... I want to get all of my imprinted berries up to 7,000 health. And then everything else goes into melee. That's kind of my... My current um, settings for them anyways, that could change later, depending upon if I feel it's necessary. You're already at 7,000, so. All right, let's give you all the fish and all the normal meat. And we want your health at 10,000, and then everything else for you goes into food. Damn, those bugs. As soon as I get ready to put everybody on passive, another group of them attacks. Okay, let's go. There's a Therizino. Uh, level? 30. Okay. Nope. It's gonna attack us, so let's just kill it. Oh, good. Um, have we already passed our waypoint? I think we have. Another theory. Good lord. Well, you know what? Regardless of what level it is, it's attacking now. Ah, it's only 55. Everybody go passive. Let's take a look at the map. Um... Let's uh, delete that waypoint. And I think we can come down through here. I think I'd rather do that because I don't want to go through these really thick woods. Plus, we might run into like some cliffs and shit up that way. So, yeah, let's just go this way. And then I think we can probably come down through here. Something like that. Okay, which way am I facing? We want to go that way. Okay. Let's do this. We have an elf over here. Let's eat it. That was a 135. No wonder it took so long to kill. Barrymore got the kill. Nothing. Oh, you got some points though. Good lord, look at that. Um, yeah, she's already at seven thousand. So, look at that man, over seven hundred damage. These imprinted uh, baryonyxes are going to be tough. For sure. All right, I'm going to see if we can get through over here. Uh, well, actually, it looks like there might even be a path. That would be nice. Yeah, look at this, man. A ready-made path just for us. Okay. Um I think I want to go a little bit north from this spot. It's kind of on the other side over here. Hopefully everybody can get through those rocks there. Looks like Piggy might be stuck. Oh, there she comes. Oh, uh, you know what? I can carry Piggy. I really forgot about that. Duh! <laughs> I should have been doing that all along, damn it. Oh, I lost her.
Okay. Because there's a drop over there, too, we don't want to build too close to that so it doesn't get blocked. Actually, I think I turned that off in the settings anyways, but... Yeah. So probably right about here. Um, and there's, you know, the water goes out a ways and still relatively shallow. So I think this is, this is where we want to be. I might go back off camera and grab my, one of my dodics too, to help clear some of those stones out, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, this is, this is the plan guys. I think this is where we're going to do it. Okay. So I want everybody, whoops, to follow Mojave. I want you all on neutral, but Mojave I want on passive. Okay. And we're going to do a little bit of pre-scouting here. So we'll put all of our C gear on. Uh, we can leave those gloves on there. And you guys just chillax here for a second. Let's take Barrymore with us. So you follow me. And we'll get this thing out of the way. I, You know, obviously I'm going to have some rocks and debris to clear up. Uh, but let's just kind of take a look at what we got here. See, so this is nice and shallow, but still deep enough for pretty much anything. So we just clear some of the rocks out of the way. I I kind of don't hmm, kind of don't like all the coral in this spot. Cause I don't think we can can we clear coral out of the way? Never even tried. Oh, you can. Okay. What about this kind of? All right. So if you can, if we can at least get the bigger coral out of the way, which it appears like we can do that then yeah, that's good. That's really good. Okay. I don't care you know, about the smaller stuff, but anything that would be potentially obstructing, you know. Get the hell out of here. Okay, let's, uh, let's go down to the cave entrance just so I can remember where it is. Oh, you know what I'm going to do, you guys? This, uh... This is really, it's a little cheaty, I think. It, it, it's the shadow settings, but I, I mean, I can see for miles, even to the point where I can see beyond the border, which is kind of immersion breaking. So let's bump the shadows up and at least when we're in the water, so we have a more realistic experience. You have to set them all the way to high to get the, the actual underwater, you know, the intended underwater look. I mean, that still didn't completely change it, though, did it? It made it better. I mean, we can we can try and put the shadows all the way on max, but I don't know how that's going to affect my performance. For those of you who don't know, I'm running a, a, a 3060 Ti, which is works fine on medium settings, but we put things up a little higher, and it's... Uh, That didn't really seem to change it though. Is it? Is it because of these? Oh, okay. So those do make a, a a little bit of a difference. Not a huge difference, but a little bit of a difference. All right, let's go back to Let's go back to high shadows. I'm sure there's probably some other settings here too that might affect underwater, but I don't see any difference between high and epic in terms of visibility underwater. But there is a noticeable difference last time I checked with medium. So if we if we set this down to medium, then it gets like all super clear and uh, a bit unrealistic, I think. Well, actually, did they change that? Because I haven't checked this in a while. Um, 
if we set it back to low like it was, see now it's not like all, even with low back on, it doesn't seem like anything changed. I don't know. Let's just, let's just, what level are you? You are a, a 40, okay. Um, I've got a really good um, Ichthyornis saddle and a, a really good like ascendant level and a really even better ascendant level blueprint for Ichthy. So because of that, we will probably grab ourselves a high level um, because they're, they're very good, uh, they're very fast. So they're a really good speed mount. Uh, but hold on. Okay, so we're out of the water. And the settings are on uh, low. I'm, I could have sworn when we first entered the water, it was like crystal clear. And I said to you guys, you know what? This doesn't work. But now, uh, well, okay. Yeah, so we can see way out into the distance, right? Okay, so let's set this to, let's set it to medium. Save it. Go back. Yeah, I'm just not really seeing a difference there. Okay, let's go set it to high. The we we definitely saw. I'd have to go back and watch the video, but we definitely saw a difference the first time I changed it. But now every time I change it, it doesn't seem to be doing much. So I don't know, man. Oh shit! Now, okay, now it's like mega gloomy oh this game man I'll tell you what I think th I think this is the way it's supposed to be um, what if we go back to medium though now yeah see now it's um crystal clear again okay so let's deal with these megs and then um all i want to do right now is just figure out where the cave is i'm not here to do anything else at the moment unless we get a 150 meg come in and then we're going to tame it right now Okay, so yeah, let's go back to high because this is what I was expecting or what it was doing earlier anyways. Yeah. Okay, this is the way it's supposed to be. If we put these on now, it does improve it. Um... And I like that. I like that. I, I don't want to see all the way into the distance, but I want to be able to see a little bit. I, I like this. Yeah, this is good. This is actually really good. Okay. Let's figure out where the cave is. I know it's very close to this area here, but I just don't remember exactly where. The one thing I don't like about the berries is they don't ascend or descend very quickly in the water. It's kind of a slow process. You are a level 20. Yeah, I, I like I like this visibility. I think this is just about right. So that was on the high settings. There's an angler fish. They're really good for getting pearls. 
We do need to be careful of um, jellyfish and eels, though. We'll get some angler gel off these guys. All right, let's lighten up just a bit. This is actually my very first trip in the deep sea in Ascended. So cool looking down here. That's the border. The border is a lot more visible now or noticeable than it was in Evolved, which I kind of don't like because, again, it's super immersion breaking, but whatever. It is what it is, I suppose. All right, where the hell is that cave at? I think we're too far out now. Hmm. You know, we would kind of be in trouble right now if a Tuso or even a Mosasaur latched onto us because well, there's no way we can outrun them. If it was an Alpha, we'd probably be a death sentence. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here's the cave. I just want to poke my head in. I'm not going to go in very far. I assume the caves are the, generally the same layout, but just with some new features added. This looks familiar. As, as it is with all the other caves, it's really kind of glitchy in here. But yeah, this looks very familiar in terms of just the actual layout of the cave. Okay, yeah, we're not going to go in any further than this. Uh, it's quite a bit framey in here, though. We might have to, uh, you know, maybe turn the shadows back down when we get into the cave, because it doesn't really matter so much in the cave anyways. Okay, so I'm going to... We're going to call this West Sea Cave. And now we know exactly where it's at. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here before we get ourselves killed. We're just going to kind of shimmy up the side of the cliff here. The berry can do just fine in shallow water, but down in the deep sea here, it's not really the best creature to have. I really like, too, that... When you're in third person now, and when you're in first person, it shows you the mask, right? But in, when you're in third person, it removes the, you know, the outline of the mask. Very, very like that a lot. Super good. And we're back. Okay. So, yeah, I think our little spot here is perfect. The perfect spot to uh, set up our sea cave. All right, you guys. Well, here's the deal. Um... I know a lot of time has gone by, so we're probably out of time in this episode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear, I'm going to clear all this stone and some of the coral out of the way. I'm going to basically just build a box with the behemoth gates and then, you know, set up some foundations uh, and get the fabricator, all the equipment set up. And when that is done, uh, we'll start the next episode and we will go after uh, some tames. Uh, the, the goal being to tame uh, megalodons, a, a big old pack of megalodons, and also um, a bachelor sort or two or three. Um, so that is the tentative plan. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.